Keep here between 515 and Ubos. We are already on the map. A minute has passed. Still no first blood, but nonetheless, there's action down bottom. Action indeed with Godzi Legends down to less than half life already, just early on. But for the meantime, it's gonna be pretty chill because there are no invades that has happened so far, just within almost two minute game time. And yeah, it looks like they're gonna be funneling or giving most of the of the objectives to this Leomord, Pain's Leomord. Given that, of course, Aurora and the Grog is roaming around with mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. So, again, what's cool about 515 Party here is they still believe in the 1 2 2. So, they're giving us hope here that the funnel meta is not all there is to Mobile Legends right now. With that being said, check this out up top. Chokes being uh, pressured by three members of 515. Oh, a mirror ongoing right now because they want to get Stephanie in here. He and she is the first blood. This is a chance for Team Boss to take down the tier one third on the bot side. But again, we mentioned a while ago, this is a mirror. This is happening right now. Looks like there will just be an exchange of turrets down bot as well on top. Oh, yeah. So, with that being said, the only thing that Team Ubos was able to do was get one kill ahead. And I think that's more than yeah. enough. One kill ahead is more than what most teams get. And against 5 on 5, you definitely want to make sure you make your moves count. For sure. And look at that. Even though Team Ubos got, a one, got one advantage by taking the a kill as well on the bot soon. side, uh, the farm or the jungle of 5 and 5 party is much higher. I think it's because of L Gaming's Leng being able to move around the map faster than anyone else in comparison to what mm -hmm. uh, Team Obos has in their lineup. But look at that, rocks with a poke uh, against Coach Chuck. This battle of yep. uh, tanks in the riverbed. Oh, look at that setup incoming from a rock TV, but unfortunately L will fall down because he's a little bit too squishy oh on the bot side we did not see that happen but Godzilla Legends dominated oh. Aning Kaisaya they actually went for the swap this is the swap right here so they uh, did uh, change it up it's actually now Godzi on the Hellcurt while L is on the yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Ling yeah, and I, I guess it's because maybe Godzi Legends doesn't make use of Ling and maybe L wants to showcase his Ling, but apparently it's uh, one death down for L Gaming right now. He have yet to wait for his power, power spike or a moment or a chance for him to to go get some flashy plays. Mm -hmm. Launch attack! So far, Let's Team 515, they are still ahead. Yeah, another pain train here by Pain. Look at this. Hold up, walking into rocks. And Stephanie here. Stephanie might just bite it. She tries to go for the hard guard too late. Oh, oh, they're continuing with the skirmish. The clash happening onto the top side right now. Gonna get one kill is Elle, oh. but he will fall down again. The hand of that Leomar Chooks TV will fall down as well. There's a lot of exchange and kills, but so far it is in favor of the 5 and 5 party coach jump in here, though I don't think he will be able to make it out of that map, so he will fall down. And now it is the 5 and 5 party capitalizing the power that they have. Although they are glass cannon, there are a lot of species on their lineup. They said that they can make it work, provided that. Uh, they're not gonna go if they are outnumbered. They can go for team fights. Yeah. Look at that, like Tierna just basically kiting. Oh, going for the meteor shower. No one got caught on got got caught on that uh, stun from Coach Chalk, and I think Rocks will even be able to make it out. Yes, he will. Yep, and Rock still has a flicker, so he's uh, for sure gonna get out of there. And so far, five one five, they even make it the most of this interesting situation. Now, Lex X X. Stunned, frozen here, hard by Lu, and now made pay for by pain. What an alley -oop from wife to Initiate husband. Retreat. Now, L being uh, caught out here by the old contract has been Turtle signed by Chokes, but he cancels that out. So, what's scary about Team Obos here is as long as they're able to stay in this, they have a good uh, insurance policy in uh -oh. Chokes. But look at this now. 
a kill by Stephanie. Lou gonna follow up. Rox gets the kill. Is this Pain? Yeah, Pain is on Barbiel and he can't even take down Godzi because Stephanie's inside. Heart guard triggered. And this is going to be Pain going down. That's a kill by Godzi. I almost said that's a kill by L, but you know they switched up. I think he should just give in that buff. There's no way that he can survive. Even if, even though he, he was able to take that away or secure the buff for himself, he will just end up dying because those are three members on the side of Team 5 on 5 party. There's no way you can survive in that one. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe he thought that he could get those crits in, uh, but... I'm not sure if he forgot that Stephanie was inside rocks, but nonetheless, 8 to 5 here, <laughs> up by 5,000 gold, Team 515 party. Payne sitting at 322, could have been better uh, the situation he finds himself in, but Rox is doing great, guys. Check it out, he picks up the Ancient Keras, sitting at 204. This is a lethal Kufra. Lethal indeed, but that hell card is also lethal, even onto the hands of Godzi Legend. Oh. This is what you get for not respecting our assassin players in the lineup. And I think anytime soon, they can even go for a wipeout. Fortunately enough, though, Aningning wasn't there to join the wipeout party. And instead, 5 on 5 <laughs> party will just take down this tier to turret on the mid. Yeah, yeah, Team Ubos did not get Ubos, if you know what I mean. Because Aning Ning was smart <laughs> to not join the fight and keep the push down bottom. She has been working that turret. She is down one, but oh no, it looks like Team 515 Party they have a different plan for her. Will they spot her out? Oh, El Caesar. Hello. Hello, indeed. Oh, they let go. That's fine. Smart of uh, smart of Aning Ning here. What's her record like? One one zero. All right. I think uh, she, she could be joining more fights, but they they uh, put her in the off lane to really do some work there. Let's see what's gonna happen next, though. Um, maybe we can talk about how potentially Team Obos might be able to come, make a comeback on this Turtle one. I think it's gonna be hard, but maybe there's still hope, though. But talking about hope, maybe th is this gonna be it? Is it gonna be it? Unfortunately, though. Lou once more is Ooh. getting his punish, will be taken down double by kill. uh Ling. Double kill even for Ling taking down another member. Will this be a triple kill? I'm not so sure, but no, he will fall down onto the hands of Aning Ning. And uh Leomard as well be taken down even by Stephanie. Oh, look at Lex! Look at Lex like a thief in the night! Just very, very sneakily working on that third. He needs to get one more basic in. Nice catch by Rox. Gives the kill to Lex and they penetrate top. Isaiah, while we were mulling over and pondering on what they can do to get back, Team Boss loses their top inhibitor turret. Oh my goodness. Two, well, no, not two, but rather four turrets left for the side of Team Boss. The assassin plays by Team 5 and 5 party. You know what? I can't even call them now an assassin team. They just mm -hmm. play a lot of assassins and they're good at it. It's not just basically putting that hell card into the lineup or maybe the link into the lineup. Uh, but yeah, they're good at it. And I think it's something uh, that their opponent, maybe in the regional finals or yeah, re regional matches, that they have that needs to be watched out for against yeah, if, uh, if. Team 5 on 5 party if they win this. If they make it, if they make it, because Kaisaya, yeah. it's not over till it's over, right? 5-1-5, five five, they still need to win this game. <laughs> they are winning, but they haven't destroyed the base just yet. And look at Chooks, just working that top lane turret, and he needs to get out of there. Hold up, Lex catches oh, him no. off guard. Elk here as well. Nice caught he here. Got, oh, he big one ball. man, one punch man hit, and nope, not gonna happen. Oh, there you go, shut down. Got shut Ooh, down. Not a um, yeah. Wasn't able to make use oh, of his oh. ultimate to back away from Godzi. death. Kaisaya Godzi is going crazy. 707 here. That's his record. 707. Well, yeah. Um, look at that. It, is this the line of for Team 515 Party? Not that they're trying to take it, but that's the Lord. I think they're gonna be able to secure it. No, sorry. Um, I was, I, I thought it was Team Obos going for the Lord. I got lost of that one. But yeah, I think this might no. be potentially the end because they got the Lord for themselves as well. Ultimate coming up from Chooks TV. Again, he will just continue. Mm, yeah, real dominating match. Yeah, I guess we can just no. call it 
it's, 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 it's gonna be tough. Five one five is just going ham here, especially off of Godzilla Legends, who got shut down by the way. He now has one death. A nice jump in here by Rox. L picking up the slack. Tempest of Blades underneath the base, and Ning the only one left. Pain able to revive just in time, but two defenders. Two defenders plus the Lord. Here we go, he calls in Barbiel. I think he counts as another. That's three defenders. But no, the Lord is going in. Kill by Stephanie. Down goes the base. I'm not even gonna count heroes anymore. That's it, ladies and gentlemen.